Hi there, Toy here. Let's see what I read in February. So first of all, I want to apologize for the quality of this video. I am having to record it on my phone camera because there's something wrong with my laptop connecting with my camera for right now. So hopefully I'll have that resolved before I do another video. I have lots of videos that I want to do and I don't want to record them on my phone. So let's take a look and see what I read. Oh, and sorry about the glare too because I'm reading from my iPad screen at, at the bottom here and it's kind of going right into these little lenses. Sorry. So in the month of February, uh, I made a list of the new things that I was going to try to do in the month of February. Talk about that real quick and hopefully I'll be able to record my actual reviews for my Lit Carnival channel. Be sure to check that out. So in February, I said I wanted to read either one nonfiction book or my IWSG um, book because sometimes we do a nonfiction book and sometimes we do a fiction book. And for the month of February, we didn't have a book. We do like we're supposed to be reading Chill Factor in to have our discussion in March. So I'm literally going to start Chill Factor now that it's March. So I chose to read a nonfiction book for February, which was Black Gun, Silver Star. And um, I didn't finish that book, so I'm still reading it. So I'll be reading that book along with Chill Factor in March for my either nonfiction or IWSG book club read. Um, next thing I wanted to do was read at least one graphic novel, which I did. I read March 2, the second book in the March series. And it's very profound. I gave that uh, five stars. It's hard not to. It's one of the things that I don't know if I said this with my first um, one. I'll go in more depth with the review, but I really feel like this should be taught in schools. The next thing I read, I wanted to read something by a local author. And I've been going to a lot of different like local events and getting involved in my local writing community. So hopefully this goal won't be hard. First book I picked though might be a little suspect. The thing is, I met this author at a local author event, even though she might not actually be local to me. I live in Hampton Roads. I think she might live in Northern Virginia. Regardless, she lives in Virginia and I met her at a local event. So I read her book. I read um, Healing Hannah's Heart. And I think I gave that one a four star. I'll have to double check. Um, I actually didn't like the book, but not because it was like a bad book. For personal reasons, it's outside of my genre, but I go into a lot more detail about that in my review. So you should definitely check it out. It's a good book, just not my taste. The next thing I wanted to do is I wanted to read a book by, not sorry, I wanted to read a book with a, um, hold on. <laughs> All right. I wanted to read a book by a black author or containing a black character or a marginalized character and same thing with the author. So I wanted the author to either be black, a female, a marginalized person or have the story be about a black female or marginalized person. And for that one, the Healing Hannah's Heart book kind of covered that as well. There was a lot of stuff going on with that book. So she was um, half black, half half. Have Filipino, Filipino. <laughs> and you know she's female so I kind of used that book for both of those criteria just because I read two books in another category later for the month of March I do have two separate books lined up for those two things the next thing is I wanted to read a picture book I always like to keep up on picture books um, so I read Sam the Speedy Sloth which was adorable and I don't know okay yeah I think I gave Sam the Speedy Soft a four. I will double check before I post the video. Um, I all, I wanted to read one fiction book and this was just any type. It could be my preferred genre, outside of my preferred genre. I just wanted it to be like something that was fiction that I wasn't reading with the intent to like learn something. Cause sometimes with the book club, we read books that are specifically like to learn a certain skill. Like this book is a good example of characterization. I just wanted to read just something fiction because I I love fiction. 
but since I was getting caught up sort of with the um, Molly McGee Cozy Mystery series I read two books in that series which is why I didn't you know try to find another book for one of the other categories and lastly I wanted to read an anthology I really for a long time struggled to read short fiction but now I adore it I'm hoping to release my own short story collection soon I have one that I put together when I very first started publishing and I think it's still like a good example of my earlier writing style so I'm hoping whatever I'm able to put together um, will reflect more of my writing ability now regardless the anthology that I read was called Gears Ghouls and Gages it was a steampunk anthology and I think I gave it I want to say I gave it a four probably a lot of times I give like overall ratings because that's all you're allowed to give and in my actual review I'll say actual rating is 4.5 or 4.25 or something like that and I feel like that's what I did with this I'll double check and let you know now remember all of these hopefully will be reviewed on my Lit Carnival channel so if you want to know more about them please watch that video that's what I read in February so in March I'm gonna try to do it again I'm gonna try to read either a nonfiction or IWSG book or I'm going to try to read a graphic novel, a local author, a black and marginalized character, a picture book, fiction book, and an anthology in March. And I have those picked out. I'm not going to tell you what they are right now because I have found in the past that when I tell you ahead of time what I'm going to read, I do not read it. <laughs> so that's all I have for now. If you've read any of these or want to know more about them, hit me up. That's all I have for now. Bye-bye.